Welcome everyone to our first episode of The Hat Rock. All right, we're here today with Lauren from Arkansas Rice and Campbell Ward. And I wanted to ask you a few questions in our first episode ever of The Hat Rack. Thanks for inviting me to The Hat Rack. Yeah, absolutely. So um, so here's how it works. I'm gonna ask you four or five questions. And if I like your answers, you get a hat. If I don't like your answers, you still get a hat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so I can't lose. You can't lose. Okay. You can't lose. So my first question is, um, growing up, how did your family prepare rice? On the stove top. For sure, okay. but what I what I've learned in my adult life is that you cannot peak. So some of my friends they say, well, sometimes it comes out crunchy for me on the stovetop, and I say that's because you peaked. You cannot peak. Okay. And what kind of dishes did you like? What did you make it into? Um, well, in fact, the most popular dish, and I get requests from this from my adult friends even now, was Rice Krispie treats. Of course. And that sounds very unoriginal, but. I, that, I will remember that recipe the day I die and I swear by it. Absolutely. Okay, so second question. What is the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of the word farm? For me, farming is how I grew up and I didn't really appreciate that until I moved to a bigger city. Um, and so the cool thing about our job or my job now is that I get to spend time on the farm with family farms like the Isbells. Um, and so, you know, that's something that I kind of took for granted growing up, um, but there's a lot to be said for this way of life and um, the innovation, a lot of what we saw today on family farms. Yeah, so, okay, you've been around our farm today. Have, have you changed, like, what you think of when you see the word farm by being here today? Has anything changed? No, I think it's really just reinforced. I mean, being around, you know, the Jones at their home as they kind of fellowship together and spent time together, but also, you know, seeing how much they care about their farm and how it's just part of their day-to-day -day conversation and how can we, how can we tell the story and how can we make it better and how can we try new things and um, how can we continue the legacy that y'all started. Yeah, great. Okay, so last question for this episode, and that is, well, you've seen quite a bit of equipment today, right? So which piece of equipment do you think you would prefer to operate or you think you would be best operating? Um, I've never been around, you and I didn't talk about this when we were on the farm today, but I've never been around the track, the, mm -hmm. the tractor that has the tracks on it. Mm -hmm. um, and so I feel like that would lend itself to a little more creativity in right. the field. So okay. I would like to try that. Okay. Is that a, a that, good answer? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay, so you have earned yourself the first hat from the first episode of the hat rack. Think, do, 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 you, do you put it on me? Or like that? Do that. I think that's a tradition now. So it just started. So excellent. Thank you, Lauren, very much. And thanks for what you and Becky and everyone at Arkansas Rice does for the rice industry. Um, it's great having a great advocacy group telling the story of Arkansas Rice biggest Arkansas, the biggest state that grows rice, the one that grows the most rice, I should say. And um, yeah, we're grateful for the work we do, and thank you for being here on the farm today. Thank you for letting us come hang out with you. Great, thanks. Yeah.